What's up everyone, Danny Rodriguez here, it's time to review Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 12, titled The Inside Man. This is a spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode, it should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, let's get right to it. Two more days, so Batman v Superman, uh, when I'm filming this, I'm, I'm so ready, man. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, it, it, what a time to be alive, for real. Uh, I can't wait. Literally, IMAX Thursday, dude. And then I have tickets for Friday, so expect my review, my non-spoiler review, probably Thursday night, or my first impressions, and then my my spoiler review on Friday, and maybe just non-spoiler. I think I'm going to do first impressions, maybe, and then on Friday, my my reviews, you know, so Let's see what goes on. I uh, see how my body feels, you know, if, I'm, if my shock is afterwards, like, oh my god, what did I just see? And once that wears off, then I'll then I'll be ready to stand before you and face my trial, you know, trial by combat. So here we go, the inside man. Ward gets us inhuman. Now I know Grant Ward's dead, but the vessel of Ward, that creature that's inside it, Ward gets us inhuman. Uh, Coulson talks with Talbot, and we end up finding that the absorbing man comes and there's this big old fight that goes on but it finds out that it's just Talbot's bodyguard. Uh, so anyway they're on this mission where they're in the part they're at this party and they're doing a scanner and everything. It's a like a Hydra party thing. And uh, I love it because Colson has like this new thing that Fitz ended up using and it's like look it looks like a real hand basically. So he has like a with his hands and it rings, reads the fingerprints like you shake a hand, I have your fingerprints. How amazing is that, you know? So anyway, Ward needs six humans alive. Anyway, Absorbing Man ends up leaving his post, you know, like everyone's like, I can't trust you. Hunter can't trust the Absorbing Man, of course, so he ends up, uh, Hunter's looking for him and he ends up getting knocked out in the back of this truck. Talbot calls out Coulson in front of everyone at this meeting and as the director of Hydra, not as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., Coulson is the director of Hydra. They end up grabbing him and basically uh, taking him to the back, man. Malik is there and he gets Coulson arrested, so they put him in the back of the cell and Lincoln and Daisy have this fight, man. They basically have a fight as in like... Um, you know, they kind of just get into an argument, what relationships do, man. It's just kind of a natural thing. Uh, they have Talbot's son, so that's why Talbot was against Coulson, because Malik's basically blackmailing him. Uh, so both are ended up, they both are basically locked in a cell. And, of course, uh, we end up seeing, what was that? We end up seeing the absorbing man. He comes and helps. And, of course, you know, it f turns out that he ended up knocking Excuse me, he ended up knocking Hunter out because he was going to ruin his, you know, his, his, uh, his role, you know what I mean? Like, he was going to, he is the inside man, the absorbing man. So anyway, this fight that goes on, man, they end up getting Talbot's son, Malik is gone, Ward is healthy. Ward finally has a little bit more meat on his skin and everything, of course, because he ended up killing all those humans, and he's with goo everywhere and everything. So, of course, uh, Bobby and Hunter are on the jet that Malik is on. They're, like, inside the jet, so until next time, you know. What do I think about this episode overall, man? Let me give you them pros first off. I gotta say, the practical and CGI effects in here, again, were awesome. I love the absorbing man when he comes on, man. I remember him from Season 2, Episode 1. Having him in here again, dude, definitely awesome. I love the effects. I love the way he fights. Uh, basically invincible, man, when he has some nice metal on him. That's really awesome. The action, the choreography in here was really awesome as well. Uh, and it's cool to see Absorbing Man basically take out a few uh, few enemies. Talbot in here, I like Talbot, man. I, you know, I got tired of Talbot every now and then. But having him come in for an episode is not that bad of a deal, honestly. Him and Coulson and their chemistry, they kind of like piss each other off at times. Or like, Coulson's like, ha ha, jolly jolly. And Talbot's like, god damn it, Coulson. 
It's kind of a cool thing there, don't you see? Uh, Colson again, Clark Gregg as well. He's fantastic in here, as always. Uh, the gadgets that they use with a hand, that was really neat to see. Ward, of course, a vessel of Ward killing all those humans was pretty intense. Uh, the twist of the absorbing man, where I thought he was a bad guy, and then all of a sudden he's the bodyguard, and then as well as he... I thought he like hit Hunter because he was going to turn bad again. He was part of Talbot's plan, but then Talbot was blackmailed, and then obviously Absorbing Man was the inside man, so that was really awesome as well. Uh, the only cons I have to say about this episode was Malik. I, you know, just when Malik entered and everything, I was like, I can't deal with this right now. I really can't. Like, just Ma I don't like Malik as a villain. I just, I don't. He's just such a cliched, well, we're going to do it this way villain, you know what I mean? And, of course, the pacing every now and then and the tone throughout the episode. So, overall, I'm going to end up giving this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode a B plus. I thought it was a good episode. It wasn't a great episode, but for the most part, it was just good. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts and your favorite parts of this episode, and I'll be seeing you for the next one. You like this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, guys. And if you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye-bye.